Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. So today's video is doo -doo -doo, a little Dory fish pole. Now these are all made with recycled materials that I have found around my house. Haven't had to go to the store or buy anything new. I will go over how to make this and some different ideas for things you may find around uh, your house. This is pretty simple to do for all ages. Um, the younger groups will definitely need some help, some pre-work with the cutting. They will definitely be able to do the gluing and such, but the older kids will definitely be able to cut and um, have fun making Dory, maybe add Nemo, I don't know, being creative. So let's get into it and I'll show you how we do this. Okay, everybody, we are gonna get started making our Dory little fish bowl. Um, so first, we are starting with paper plates. Now, all I have in my house are blue ones, but if you have plain ones, I'll go over how to do it. They're going to make the fish bowl like that. We're going to put one aside for now. Grown-ups, this is definitely a part where all the little ones are definitely going to need help, is cutting the big circle in the fish tank. Even grown-ups need help a little too. All right, we're gonna put the scrap paper aside. Never know when we may need that again. So here's your first starting of the fishbowl. Now remember the other day when we made the Mickey pop-out card and I have some blue paper left over. I think I even have a few Mickeys. I have a Mickey left over. So maybe we can add in a hidden Mickey to our fishbowl. That would be fun. So, let's see, I don't want to waste paper. Yeah, this will be good. You're going to fit it. Okay, so here's an alternative. If you have a white paper plate, you can paint it, you can color it. If you don't have blue paper, no need to worry. There's a lot of different alternatives. We're going to lock, add lots of glue. Glue down. Gotta add in our hidden Mickey, of course. There, now. Remember when we did the paper doll Yodas too? I have some of those little green scraps left over. I am also gonna cut those out. Now if you don't have these, if you have green yarn, green yarn, green paint, magic marker, uh, pipe cleaners, anything can be the little seagrass in your little Dory fishbowl. Right, when you have a few scraps of paper, yarn, colored, whatever, we're going to work. So we've got some seagrass. You can use a brown magic marker, color in some sand. Make it your own. I'm gonna put this aside for right now because now it's time to make our dory. Now I had my daughter trace out a fish for me because like I've told you guys before, uh, drawing is not my strong point. She can draw, I cannot. But if you're also like me and you can't draw, you can go to Pinterest and print out um, outlines and just do the best you can and have fun. Outline Dory to make it easier. Got it 
And there we have Dory ready to color in. Now, because like I've said in my past videos, all we have are Sharpies. I do not recommend them. I'm going to color Dory in over the paper, which is always a great idea anyways, washable markers or not, just to make sure you are not getting marker all over your table. Now, Dory needs an eye. If you have a googly eye, uh, that would be a great thing. We do not. So we are going to use our paper and cut out. Cut out a little circle. Kind of fix the circle. There you have a little Dory ready to go in her fishbowl. Now this one I made Dory 3D. I'll show you how I did that because it's fun and not super hard. Once again, you're gonna grab a scrap of paper. Older children will be able to do the according style fold. And glue Dory's pop out on one side. Dory pops out. We had a little dirt. So fun. If you have plastic, you can totally put plastic in it, make it look like a real fishbowl. We do not. We're going to glue and staple because the glue does not love the shiny paper plate. So once again, this might be a good time for a grown-up help. And there you have Dory in our fishbowl. Thank you again for joining me in my little crafty corner with materials we found around the house. Uh, if you made a little fishbowl with Dory or Nemo or any of your favorite uh, sea creatures, please tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see what you guys came up with. Um, have fun being creative and see you guys next time.